All right, tonight there is no let up in the worst fighting between the Israelis and Palestinians in years. President Biden spoke by phone today with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and later said Israel does have a right to protect itself. The U.S. is also sending an envoy to try to work out a ceasefire. CBS's Imtiaz Tayab reports tonight from Tel Aviv. Israel's air power on full display. As Gaza's tallest building turned to rubble in an instant, it followed yet another day of tit-for-tat attacks, where Hamas fires its crude rockets indiscriminately into Israeli territory, only to be met with the full force of Israel's sophisticated weaponry. The death toll is rising on both sides, with civilians caught in the middle, like Faraz al Ghul. You must be terrified. It is. Originally from Dallas, he's now trapped inside Gaza with his pregnant wife. Deep down, you know, she must what's best for me. I don't know. Is that an airstrike? Man. That is an airstrike. Wow. I just heard two large bangs. A different terror is also unfolding across Israel. Here in Bat Yam, an Arab Israeli man is beaten by a mob of Jewish Israelis, while in places like Lod and Acker, it's neighbor versus neighbor attacking each other's homes, businesses, and places of worship. This rabbi calls the situation a nightmare. Huge numbers of security forces have been sent to secure the towns, and curfews are now in effect. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said he'd restore peace back to these Israeli towns with a, quote, iron fist if he has to. But bringing these fractured communities back together again will no doubt require a much softer touch. Nora. MTS Tayab, thank you.